Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Todd. Thank you guys for stopping by my kitchen. Today we're going to do beef stew. Yes guys, I placed every ingredient out there so you guys can see. Super duper easy. So let's get into it. There's some olive oil that I let get hot and I have some beef stew. I like to brown my beef stew before placing it in my crock pot. And I also like to season it so that the seasons can lock into the meat. Okay, you guys? Um, so that's some salt that we're, that I'm placing in. Um, however much you want, it's up to you guys. And I also have some pepper that I use, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna use some garlic and um, onion mixed together and place in there. I like a lot of garlic and onions um, powder, so. Okay, so then we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna mix this up so that the meat and the seasons can come together, play together, whatever they wanna do. Okay, as long as my meat is good, tastes good. Okay, so we're gonna um, brown it and let the meat hang out until those seasonings, as I said before, can get locked into the meat. All right, you guys. We're going to let it cook so it can get brown and a little crust on it. Sorry, you guys, I was moving the camera. <laughs> I look like I froze, but I wasn't. Okay, so now the meat has browned and all that season has locked into that meat and we're going to um stir it up just a little bit more and you see the brown on the meat um and then we're going to place the meat inside the crock pot and you can continue with this easy peasy beef stew meal okay you guys all right so we're going to place the meat in the crock pot Okay, and then we're going to place the vegetables, the onions, the celery, and the carrots. You can use as much vegetables as you want. Um, my family don't like a whole lot, so I can put it that much in there. Okay, you guys. So now we're going to use the um, garlic. I chopped up two cloves of garlic to place in there. Okay, fresh garlic is better, but if you don't have that, that's fine. Use garlic powder. Okay, now I have my onion soup. I'm going to place one packet of um, onion soup. It doesn't matter where you get it from. I got mine from all these. Okay, doesn't matter what brand. Mm -hmm. and we're going to place that in there. We're going to make sure we get it all out of there. Okay, guys. Okay, now we're going to place in two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. If you would like, you can put more to your taste. I want pour more than four, though. Okay, guys. And these are my potatoes. I already cut them up. That's why they look like that. But I cut them up. We'll put them in two and a half hours after the meat is, the beef stew has been cooking for a while. Okay, now here we're going to place three cups of beef broth inside. Two. Okay. Going to place three. All right, guys, so we're going to place that three cups of beef broth, and then I'm going to pull it. To you guys closer so y'all can see what it looks like okay and then we're gonna stir it up I want you guys to see what it look like BAM okay all right and so we're gonna stir it up and that's it guys that's it we're gonna make sure we plug it up we're gonna make sure it's on high and we're gonna cook it for I think I cooked mine about five hours actually 
Okay, here is the beef stew all done. It was absolutely delicious. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.